The Bills enter the playoffs as the hottest team in football. They've won six straight games since their bye. They have closed out the season by winning three games by 29 points or more. While there's been a lot of talk about Allen's improved mechanics, there are some finer details that have been overlooked when talking about his maturation as a passer. Allen has shown substantial strides in his pocket movement. No longer bailing right at the hint of a pass rush, he has become more willing to hang in the pocket and go through his progressions. He knows how long he has to throw, and when he hears that internal clock start to tick, he's learned to step up through the pocket rather than scramble out the back. Here, the Bills are running a Yankee concept. Now this is a long developing route concept, so they have seven in protection. The near side receiver is running a skinny post to divide the deep thirds, hoping to vacate the space for the backside crosser. Diggs is going to be the check down running an under route. This play works great against deep zone coverages, forcing safeties to have to communicate to pass off the coverage. However, the Broncos aren't in zone, they roll into a cover one robber post snap. Jump into the end zone view, check out Allen reading the coverage. His eyes first come to the stack side, reading the leverage and the man coverage. He then looks to the deep route which is also covered. His eyes then come back to the near side with digs. Seeing that the safety has rotated down to take away Stefan, Allen knows that Beasley is going to be open, rifling the ball between the corner and the rotated safety. This is a high level read, and Allen does a great job to trust his protection, go through his reads, and then show off the elite arm to fit the ball in between the defenders. Here is a similar play against the 49ers, with the Bills this time using two skinny posts to clear out the space for the over route. This play is a perfect call against the 49ers cover 4, forcing Jimmy Ward to have to chase Diggs on the deep over. The 49ers get good quick pressure, but Josh Allen is able to step up, then step up again through the stunning lineman, keeping his eyes up and whip the ball to Diggs on the over. Here, the Bills are running deep crossers, with the receivers taught to sit their routes down if it's zone. Pressure from the left side as Allen steps up and then has to immediately dodge another oncoming lineman, bouncing out of his way, keeping his head up the field the whole time, and then throwing this outrageous flick pass for the chunk pickup. Against the Patriots, and more show of maturity from Allen. The Bills are running a high-low concept from Bunch, and the Pats call a great defense here, blitzing from the near side, trying to force Allen away from his reads. Freezing here, you can see it almost worked, but Watch as Allen spots the correct way to exit the pocket through the middle. And with the patch and man, this is an easy pickup. And once again here against the Broncos blitz. Allen spots the man coverage in the gap in the middle, stepping up into a chasm of empty space with the hash marks guiding him into the end zone. Another area where Allen has shown maturity is in his willingness to check the ball down. Early in his career, Allen seemed allergic to check down the ball sometimes. And this makes sense for a world-class athlete, preferring and assuming he can do more with his legs. But all great passers, even those built like power backs, must learn to hit the check down when the defense is dropping their zones deep, and there has been a marked improvement for Allen. With a significant tightening of his mechanics, Allen has been able to acquire the highest regarded physical trait a passer could have, the touch pass. Here, the Bills are running a max protect double move concept, a perfect shot opportunity against a single coverage outside. Allen gets great protection here, and the greater rotation he's added to his release allows him to throw a floater to his wide receiver rather than a straight shot. Better mechanics allows you to get the ball to arc without losing accuracy. Previously in Allen's career, he threw these flat, not wanting to lose any accuracy, and that gives receivers no time to run under the ball. Here's an even better example, again with double moves on the outside. Allen rotates his body through in unison with his arm, allowing him to throw this rainbow down the sideline of Diggs. A beautiful throw. Against the Patriots, and more proof of the touch pass outside of just the deep shot, the Bills are running hitch go, aiming to attack the seams in the Patriots cover three. Allen is able to rip this ball over the top of the outstretched linebacker to his tight end, before the safety can get over there. A perfect pass. Versus the 49ers, the Bills are again trying to attack the deep zone. With nobody following the motion, the near side routes are aiming to clear out the deep third for the wheel. 
The Niners play is perfectly, and there appears to be nowhere to go, until Allen throws a beauty up and over the outstretched linebacker straight into the hands of number 13. And yes, for those with keen eyes noticing the blocking tight end Lee Smith all alone on the far side of the field, Brian Dable would take advantage of that, calling it a few weeks later. And if you had forgotten how strong Allen's arm is, check out this missile to divide the safeties, firing one to Packers legend Jake Kumaro. Despite playing against the best athletes the world has to offer, it amazes me how often Josh Allen still looks like the biggest kid in the playground. Read option here on the goal line, and Allen just outruns the corner, supermaning his way to the pylon. Against Miami here, and while this play doesn't result in anything substantial, check out Allen's ability to freeze the pursuing backer, and then glide through the two defenders like he's still in high school. And this is just uncoverable. The Niners cover 4 does a great job of blanketing the routes with Allen staying calm in the pocket. With nothing open, he extends the play by rolling right and launching the ball 40 yards to Beasley who makes a spectacular catch. Gone are the days of statuesque signal callers, curtailed to the carpet through coverage sacks. The modern NFL we are in demands that you have a quarterback be mobile, and those still choosing to trot out static jug machines will quickly find themselves behind the eight ball. When watching the 2020 Bills tape, it is impossible not to notice Stefan Diggs. He was so spectacular on film, he even had to invade this breakdown. Diggs is the perfect match for Allen, a ball-hungry deep threat with exceptional route running technique, as well as a fantastic third down possession receiver. He is matched up against one of the best corners in the league, JC Jackson. Running the over route, Diggs sets him up with the outside jab to gain inside leverage, then simply runs away from the entire Patriot defense. Diggs is at the top of your screen this time, running a quick in. He takes two large strides as if he's going to power his way upfield, before hitting Hilton with a nasty cut inside and making him taste grass, then pinballing his way for a touchdown. And this is my candidate for route of the year. Top of your screen again, this time versus Jason Verrett. Diggs hits him with a jab step outside, allowing him to get an inside release making another cut as if he's coming inside before using his left leg to stop all his momentum and then cut back to the sideline on the whip route. Verrett has no chance and Diggs is wide open to move the chains. Against the Steelers again, and this time at the bottom of your screen. Some are going to call this a push off, but I want a receiver who's able to shove a DB 10 yards with just one arm. And once more against the Steelers, with Diggs and Allen just toying with the defense. Diggs is going to run an over route and find the soft spot in between the zones, and Allen shows off the laser. Diggs has so much great tape, we'll be back to cover him shortly, so make sure you're subscribed for that. I didn't, and still don't blame anyone for being skeptical about Allen coming out of college. A quarterback with accuracy issues is likely to turn a lot of people away, but it is great credit to the Bills coaching staff and Josh Allen himself and constantly developing and refining his game. They've never limited what Allen does well, and have built strong foundations to overcome weaknesses. Josh Allen is going to be causing havoc for a long time to come. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Want more football? Why not check out our breakdowns on Devontae Adams' hop step release, or how Frank Reich designed his mesh concept.